Hey guys, Al here. In this video, we're going to be covering setting up the new modding tool called DMT, which is a replacement for the uh, old modding tool SDX. DMT is going to be open sourced and um, available for the community to contribute and uh, keep updated going forward. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, head over to GitHub to grab a copy. Um, I'll put a link to the repo in the description down below. And if you uh, want the source, here it is. But if all you're looking for is the actual tool, there's uh, a link to the latest release at the bottom here. So I'll just click on that. Open it up when it's done. And then head over to where you want to install it. Create a new folder. I'll just call it DMT. And then extract all the files into it. Uh, once that's done, uh, you've got the executable here. Uh, we'll just open that up. And uh, this should look familiar to you if you're used to SDX. Uh, we've tried to keep things very similar. Um, the first thing we need to do is just hit the settings button to supply where we've put the uh, list of mods that we want to work with. So I'll just install it over there. And then we also need the uh, location of the game. If you've got multiple installs, uh, say the single player client and the dedicated, you can add that in there. Or if you've got multiple builds, say if you're running uh, A16, uh, you can do that as well. And when you hit build, it will build for, for all of them. I'm just going to stick with the one for now, hit save, and you can see that the mods have loaded in here. Select the ones you want to apply and hit build. We should hit a problem with this. I've intentionally put a, an error in one of these mods just so we can have a look. And there we have it. And you can see at the bottom now it's telling you which line it couldn't compile and then a link to that file directly. Um, so if you're having troubles when you're compiling, it should be a bit easier now. So uh, let's just untick that one for now and rebuild. The uh, other nice new thing in DMT is support for the uh, Harmony library for um, patching the DLL at runtime. You can see here we've got some examples of that that uh, Sphere is done, Sphere 2. Um, and we'll run through that uh, setup in a moment. So if we just hit play, this should boot up fine and you're into the game. So pretty familiar, pretty easy. Uh, and for most of you, that will be all you need to do. If you're having any troubles, um, like usual, just try deleting the game folder and downloading a fresh copy. Um, and again, for DMT, just make sure it's a brand new download in a brand new folder. So there we have it, game is in. And that's it. Um, for modders, um, I'll just have a quick run through of the new options that you've got. So for uh, your normal patching, uh, your normal patch scripts, you usually have the two here, patch and link. In uh, DMT, you've now got a third option for final patch. This is covered in a new interface type called iPatch, uh, rather than the old one, I think, was iPatcher or something. Let's have a quick look. Uh, eye patcher mod. So that was the SDX version, and all your old SDX ones should be backwards compatible. Uh, there shouldn't be any issues there. But if you want to take use of this new one, uh, you'll need to swap over to the eye patch interface. And all this does is, after these two have been run, it saves the DLL out, then reloads it back in for the final patch because if you've um, created new fields in the uh, base DLL, 
then it wouldn't be available to you in uh, the link method, but it will be available to you in the final patch. And then over on the Harmony side, um, we have again a interface called iHarmony, which causes the creation of this start method where you um, set up and link to the patch rule method for your mod and classes. You do that by let's show you in your mod uh, directory. You need to create a new directory called Harmony and just put your classes in there. Then DMT will come along and uh, compile those into a DLL, which then gets loaded by the game at runtime and the patches are applied. Uh, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if any of you guys are UI designers or you have a an idea on how to improve this this layout or add buttons or icons or whatever, or if you want to add new functionality, you know, you want the uh, the actual base engine to do more, uh, just grab a copy of the source code and submit a, a pull request, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, thank you very much. See you later.